Hello everyone, this is Ice Blaze, and welcome back to another today's video. Today we have the graduation duck. First, he needs uh, a name. Second, uh, the cap is just stuck to his head. He actually graduated in 2018. Today is Independence Day, so we are going to be reading um, a passage from the Declaration of Independence. Now, I realize it's an American holiday, and there, I have a lot of... In people from India uh, watching this channel so um, you know you you can you can watch it's completely fine and I think this is important for everybody to hear here we go we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal this means that all men are created equal and we've all um, we're all loved basically the same, you know? Um, that we are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. These rights cannot be taken away from us. These rights were meant to be given to us by our, the person who created uh, mankind. That among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, it's important that it says the pursuit of happiness. We are not entitled to happiness, but we are entitled to pursue it. Now, if that gets in the rights of others, that's a bad thing. In the way of the rights of others, that's a bad thing, because then we're violating their right. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. And so this is really cool, So because it shows us what governments are made to for. Um, governments are instituted among men, depriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. So, basically, they can't govern us without our consent. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it, and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles. As to them, shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. So basically, it says, if the government did something wrong to you, or you feel they were unfair, and that they've become corrupt, it is your right as an American, or especially in this, but anybody should have the right to rise up and overthrow their own government. And this is one of the reasons why the Second Amendment, I believe it is, is so important. The right to wield and bear arms. This is the right to have a gun, basically, in your home. That way, if the government tries to take over and control your life, you actually have a fighting chance against them. Now... The government, I will say, is trying to use fear to slowly get us to give up certain things, certain guns that we have. They're trying to use the fear to take away um, high-powered guns slowly and slowly and slowly. And the process is very subtle, but it's happening, and slowly we're giving up our right to bear arms. This is something we cannot allow to happen, in my opinion. Now, a lot of people say that uh, our taxes are higher now than when we rebelled against the British. And there's a big difference between when we rebelled against the British and when we, and then if we were to rebel now. And that's that we have voluntarily, um, together as a community, voted for higher taxes to pay for, like, better hospitals and better roads. Now, in British, the British just demanded that we pay taxes. They didn't ask us first. Um, they didn't allow us to vote whether we wanted to. And that's the big difference there. But we gotta be careful, because we are slowly voting away our money and our time and our right to bear weapons. And 
if the government takes all our weapons. The more weapons the government takes from us, the better control they'll have over us. And also, with the COVID thing going around, that has also been used with fear. And I don't disagree that we shouldn't wear masks and stay inside, necessarily. But the fear seems like the government's trying to control us. They could say, it's going to be okay, just stay inside, you know? But it seems like it's the media and the government is putting a little extra fear in our lives to try and get us to do what they want. So these are things to keep in mind. Uh, just be careful. And uh, I know that it's not always in your power necessarily to stand up to the government. But you have to decide the breaking point for yourself. When has the government gone too far? This has been a nice place. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun. And uh, me and the graduation duck, we'll see you in the next video. And we're excited to have you on this channel. Bye.